Hey everyone, how you doing? Jake here, just going to show you some um, Brink gameplay. This is a new segment I'm going to be doing, hopefully um, a bit more often, showing you some games. First off, showing you some Brink. Actually, I actually only got it on this week, on Monday. It's actually a pretty fun game. Uh, well, this is my character here. There's actually um, quite a bit of customization here. You can um, change a lot of your appearance and clothing and everything. As I'm just showing you here. So quite a lot of um, different um, headgear you can wear and different hairstyles. A bunch of face um, face gear. But this is only the stuff for the Rebellion side I'm showing. There's actually two faction players, which is the Rebellion and then the um the Arc um, officers. There's also a lot of customization for your weapons, which you get by doing um different the challenge mode. And soon, as you can see, it says Escort Duty 1 star, and that's one of the challenges to unlock some scopes for that weapon. Alright, so I'm going to show you some, um, a bit of a campaign mission. Let's go with this one. But it's, all so it's all set. Here we go. The sickness continues to spread through the guest pelgos. Until we get help from the outside world, we're on our own. So we've had to help ourselves. We stripped the medical equipment from the hope and synthesized the vaccine. For now, whoever controls this vaccine controls the Ark. No surprise, Mokoena will kill to take it from us. The vaccine must reach the people. We can't let Mokoena steal it and ration it for priority personnel. Hold security off long enough for us to move the vaccine to safety. Do not let Mokrena's men steal it. Drive them back into the sea! So, there's the vaccine? Of course, you think Chen doesn't have a plan B in case we can't get out of here. If there's the vaccine, shouldn't we shut it out? Exactly! We will share it, but do you think we can trust the Founders to distribute it fairly? Like the water rations? While we live like slaves, while they live in luxury? <laughs> okay, I know what has to be done. Good! Then ready up! Security will be here any minute. Defend the vaccine, defend our homes. Alright, let's get straight into the gameplay. This is um, on the second sniper you can get for the lightweight body type. It's actually a bold action sniper. Um, this engineer class is enabled to buff yourself and your teammates weapons. And build turrets and stuff, as you can see. I'm not doing too well at sniping at the moment. Missed a few shots. Almost a headshot there. Uh, um, it's a sh this is actually a pistol. This is the last pistol you um, you get, and has um, a couple of attachments on there. It's got a silencer, reflex scope, and extended mag, which enables it to hold a dish uh, 30 bullets in a clip, which is pretty nice. It's also quite powerful. Here we go. There's my first headshot. Come on. Almost a second. Right. It's a pretty strong sniper. It's um, generally a one shot on all lightweight um, characters. But anyone ab above, if it's a headshot, it's going to kill them in one hit. Uh, the upper chest does more damage than um, lower, so if you want to snipe, um, try aiming a bit higher. Try and get him in the face or upper chest and do the most damage.
Uh, and this um, this mission is to defend the gate, and I'll let them get in with the bot to um, take the vaccine, which in the in the um, container city. Also, it's a very handy to keep um, a soldier around to give you ammo, because you build one out. As you, as you can see, you only can hold um, 16 bullets in the sniper. Actually, no, it's f 12. It's uh, 4 bullets at the beginning, plus um, 8 is spare. So you have to make your shots count. <coughs> Missed a crotch shot there. There's actually a special um, logo which appears when you shoot him in the crutch. It's similar to the headshot. As in, um, I'll show you when, you, when I get a headshot. has that logo of a bullet going through the head. But in the nutshell, it shows a fruit nut exploding the same way. Just as something a little bit extra they put in. Just well, um, en the engineer is trying to repair that. Um, the bot so he can get in, but um, have to try and stop. And there's also that that soldier keeps trying to arm arm the gate. So that's part of the mission to not let them get through because every time they proceed further in, they get more time is added. And um, mission of this is to hold them back. But there's a revert. You can play this in the reverse side where you're playing as the. Um, those arc officers, as you saw before attacking, where you're trying to get the bot in and uh, get to the back of the facility to take the uh, take the vaccine. As you can see, the town is actually very useful. You can set it up in some pretty good spots. But however, it can be damaged rather easily. Get destroyed like that. Right, running out of balls here. As you can see, they always those um they always trying to arm it. So my job is to try and hold them back in the summit, but I don't think I'm gonna make it because unless I can sprint there quickly. All right, I think I got this. Let's run. Check. All right, I'm gonna show you another weapon. This is the SMG. So pretty early, uh, you unlock it pretty early on. That's actually very strong. I can only have a few attachments on it. And one of them is the um, drum um, the bullet drum, which enables you to have um, 60 bullets in a clip. It's a very nice thing to have. But it's also, um, ha the reload speed on this gun is pretty fast anyway. So the 60 bullets really help. You get a f those few extra kills. Before you have to reload. It's also very good for defending. I have to watch it for those medics because I keep throwing um, everyone their health kits. And they um, basically, when you go down, your teammate will throw you, can throw your health kit. Uh, you can either choose to respawn like I did, or you can use it to um, inject yourself and get yourself back up. I know you can use that if you are uh, a medic um, throws on you. Or you're playing as a medic class and there's a perk that enables you to pick yourself up. But it has um, a cool time on it so you can't use it frequently. As you can see, you get points for basically doing anything in this game. If you stand near the um, objective, you get points for defending it. I 
actually not too hard to level in this game. As you can see, you get quite, get quite a bit of experience just by um, proceeding with the mission, getting kills and um, defending your objectives. It only takes a couple um, a couple levels to level. So if you just muck around the campaign, you level quite quickly. And the highest level is level 24 and it gives you an achievement. There's um actually there's four classes you can play as throughout um, throughout the game, and there's three body types. The body types are light, medium, and heavy. Heavy you can use all weapons, such as the heavy weapon, light, and medium. So that includes shotguns, snipers, SMGs, assault rifles, and heavy machine guns. While the medium only can use the shot um, shotguns, assault rifles. And um, everything that the lightweight can use, and the lightweight only can use um, snipers, SMGs, and pistols. Uh, as a secondary, um, medium can actually use an SMG as a secondary weapon. But I found it um, a bit easier when you can uh, on light, you can just sprint really fast and get to your points as quick as you can but uh, the only sacrifice for that is um, you actually don't have a lot of health you only, I think it's about 120 HP which that means you can die a lot quicker than using the medium and the heavy but that speed is very useful to have because you can just climb and get the points very very quickly so if you need to attack a point, you can just rush. But you just have to be careful because you can't take that much damage. As you can see, that um, that um, what's it called? That boost you can get give yourself. When you have with the and also don't hold down the trigger like that. Clearly it doesn't work because um, the recoil goes a bit crazy when you hold down for long range. So burst fine, get, get burst into your shots. Also each class has their own um, sort of explosive. As in their own grenade. I think soldiers have... Um, no one of them has incinerary um, grenades and flashbangs. Some of flashbanging me. I've actually tried all the classes probably. Haven't really got around to using the soldier one yet. I've just been sticking to engineer, engineer medic and operator because they're the ones that are, that are needed for um, most of the missions. Soldiers only for the army and explosives. I think I'm going to go down about here, getting shot quite a bit. Alright, you're actually not down and out. Unless you get um, executed, which is just someone walks up to you and punches you in the face, which is by pressing the V button. Also, you can melee by pressing the V button, which just knocks them down. Alright, get some new armor and that's good. There's a, a there's eight missions per um per what's it called? Per team you go on. So you have it's got a decent size campaign. Plus there's um, two bonus missions for um, each team that they call what if missions so if something different happened during the campaign what would have happened so just something a little bit extra to have 
also give you achievements for completing them, which is pretty nice. I've actually currently got this on um, Steam because it th uh, during the sale, but I didn't get to um, download it till um, January first, New Year's Day. Pretty happy with the purchase there. Got it at um, ten dollars from Steam because they had their massive um, Steam tail for, uh, for the holidays. I'm just gonna try and revive. I don't think people are gonna run. Alright, uh, I'm gonna show you a different pistol. This one's the revolver. I'll just put on the upgrade and here we go. I just try and destroy this quickly before they um, try and push forward. There's only a minute left, so I don't want to um, them to push forward. The only downside to that, it takes a lot of bullets to um, disable. Just keep using the pistol now. As you can see, the pistol is actually quite powerful. I actually have an um, attachment on it that enables you to, um, to shoot it as quick as you, as you want. As soon as you click the trigger, it will fire. There's no delay. It's just a nice attachment to have on, on those sort of weapons. Uh, there's 24 seconds left. This is basically over. I think I won this one. Uh, oh, this is over. Well, anyways, thanks for watching me um, play some Brink. Hope you liked it. Um, I'm hoping to do more commentary. So, give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching. Have an awesome day. Uh, before we go, there's um, it's actually not too hard to level up. You just play a few missions and you get quite a bit of experience. As you can see, I got 7,028. Anyways, um, like I said before, um, if you liked it, leave a comment, and I'll try and do some more gameplay. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have an awesome day. Boop. Stop.